So in the previous lecture, we discussed how to actually create our first program called LED Blink in the Arduino programming software. Now we need to be able to actually wire uh, the LED up so it will actually blink. Currently, we just have a program that tells the Arduino how to send the signals, but we don't necessarily know how to wire this up. And so there's this really great software called Fritzing, uh, and you can download it by going to the fritzing.org website and go to the download option. And I'll have this link in the supplemental materials. But you'll need to download, install the software, follow the steps. And when you do, you'll come up with a program that looks something like this. Now, this is actually a completed uh, schematic. What you'll most likely see is a new one that will have something like this. So it will have a little diagram here that explains what breadboard view is. And it'll have a breadboard. Um, we will not be using a breadboard for this first one. We will be using it in future um, things. So let's talk about how you actually interact with the Fritzing um, site. So what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this breadboard and hit the delete key and that's going to get rid of it. And what we want to do is we want to go over here and you'll see that you have a parts pane. And the parts allow you to add a number of different things here. Uh, for example, we have a 220 ohm resistor. I know that's a 220 ohm resistor because when I mouse over it or I click on it, it tells me what it is. You'll see that down below. It says 220 ohm resistor, gives me the signals, tolerance, and so on. And these are actual real parts. You can order them uh, from Fritzing or you could go and find them in any Radio Shack, those kind of things. So it's not like these are make-believe parts that we'll never use. This is actually setting us up to diagram what we're going to be creating. So in this case, we're wanting to create a blinking LED. Well, we will definitely need a 220 ohm resistor, so we just click on it and drag it onto the screen. Now, it's really, really small. I'm going to show you how to get uh, a little bit better view of that here in a, in a minute. And then we also need to go to our Arduino area, and you'll see that it has all the different Arduinos. It may take a second the first time, uh, it'll say loading packages, but we want the Arduino Uno uh, revision 3. And you'll see that that's the first, the top left corner one that we're going to be looking at. And I'm going to drag and drop that onto the screen. You'll notice it's obviously a lot bigger than the resistor. And we're going to uh, figure out how to zoom in and add some other parts here in just a second. But we need one more thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on the search. And in there I'm going to type in LED red. And I hit enter and I get all these different things and I'm just going to find a red LED. Now you'll see that this is a red LED 5 millimeter. That's what we want. And I'm going to drag it onto the screen. Now I've got all my components in place, I need to actually finish my diagram. What I want to do is I want to zoom in a little bit so it's actually a little bit easier to see. And if you'll remember from our program, we actually had things connected to pin 13. And you'll see that I have pin 13 right here on my Arduino. And what I need to do is I need to kind of position this LED so that this leg or lead goes to pin 13 and this leg or lead goes to the ground. Now you'll notice this is called the cathode and this is called the anode. And you would want to make sure that you have those set up correctly in terms of your uh, physical wiring as well when we get to that point. Now what I need to do is I need to rotate this LED because the LED is going to go between the Arduino board and the anode. And um, when we get to the section discussing electrical theory and basic electronics, you'll understand why we have to have a resistor there. So for, for right now, we just need to make sure that we have it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click on that and I'm click on rotate. And you'll notice that that rotates the resistor for me. And I'm just going to put it in line here. And then all I want to do is I want to click on the end and drag it to pin 13. I'm going to click on the other end. I'm going to drag it here to the anode side of the LED. And then I'm going to take the cathode side of the LED and draw it to the ground, just like so. And now I've created a very simple schematic that, as you saw, was similar to this one here that I had drawn in my leisure a little bit longer. But the idea is the same, that I created this very simple LED structure that's connected to pin 13. Um, so why do we draw this up first? Well, this is a very simple thing where we could have just connected a resistor and LED and had it go. 
Um, but as we become, uh, as we do more complex wiring and diagramming, those kind of things, we always want to set out the parts, what it should look like, and all those things before we actually start wiring things together because it gives us a point of reference for how things should work and how they should look. It also allows us to share that with other people so that when they see whatever it is that we're programming, they also have a visual reference for how to uh, go about creating that particular uh, physical component that will go with the program that we had. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our previous one and I've kind of minimized it so I'm going to have to go through all these windows and find it here somewhere in here. All right, so here we are again. Here's my LED, my resistor, and my Arduino board. Now, at this point, this is just a diagram. And let's say that I would like to have some more information about it. I can simply go down here and click Add Note. And you'll see that I can type my text in here. I can move that note around. And as you'll notice, I already had a note that says LED, LED Blink Program Arduino Step. So I'm telling whoever's looking at this diagram, if they are looking at the LED Blink Program, then this is how it should be wired or set up. Uh, so if I want to use that note, I can, and I would like for you to go ahead and add that. If I don't need the note, I can just hit the delete key and it gets rid of it, just like I did with the breadboard. So now that I have my full diagrammed uh, Arduino with its blinking LED ready to go, I need to actually put this in a format that I can share on something like a blog post uh, or through Google Drive. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go ahead and go Save As. And I want to save this as LED Blink. And then we go File, Export, as Image. And then I typically just choose uh, JPEG. You can do PDF or something like that if you want to. The JPEG is pretty straightforward. And it'll ask you what you want to name it. And it'll ask you where you want to save it. And then once you've done that, you can actually go to your documents and you should see your nifty little diagram that's much easier to read and much easier to see now that it doesn't have the large space that's available and this will allow us to once again get a better visual concept to demonstrate what we're getting ready to actually do which is we're going to wire this thing up and then make it blink so what you need to do is you need to make sure that you've recreated that diagram as you saw uh, me do to familiarize yourself with fritzing. And then you are going to take this uh, image and you're going to post it to your blog and just give the blog tile post LED blink fritzing diagram. And uh, once you've done that, you'll be good for this particular lecture.